watching the film of that first half of North Carolina like? Mm. Brutal. As I can really say, it was brutal. They was uh, making a lot of shots. Uh, we weren't playing to what we know we can play. So, uh, you know, we just got to you know, start the game out better. You said you're just scratching the surface and the sky is the limit. Why do, why do you think he speaks that highly of your game? Uh, because we've been working, we've been working every day in practice. I've been getting more touches. We've been press, preaching inside out basketball. So guards been looking for me inside, just making plays on the inside. What do you got to do to reach that potential? I just say keep playing with confidence. Confidence is the main thing. I mean, with confidence, you can go anywhere you want to go. You talked about your mindset being different this year. Is your mindset different because you have more confidence? I would say so, and especially playing, you know, three tough games back to back to back. I mean, after that, I just feel like I, I can just you know, keep working and get better. How much did those three games give you confidence just going up against the bigs that you did go up against? I say a lot because these are the best bigs in the country. I just played them. It's three in a row. So, you know, just seeing that, you know, it's going, you know, just got to build from that. What was the lesson learned from that first half against Carolina? Uh, you know, just come out with energy. The main thing, uh, you know, you just can't slack. We can't under underestimate anybody that we play. You guys are back home for the first time in a while. Coach said that traveling has kind of taken a toll on a lot of these guys. What's that going to be like being back here to play? I feel like it's going to be fun, you know, just playing in front of the whole crowd again. I mean, traveling, it was tiring for sure, but now we're at home, so we're just excited to play in front of the whole crowd. Jonas, you're, working, you're shooting that mid-range jumper a lot more this year. How much did you work on that in the offseason? Have you changed your jump shot at all? Uh, I say I changed my jump shot a little bit, not too much, but I've been I've been shooting the uh, mid-range jump shot over the summer a lot. What is different uh, about the jump shot mechanically? I say like freshman year coming in, I, I was bringing the ball from the left side of my shoulder over to the right side, so I feel like my alignment's more straight on my jump shot. How do you think that helps you be more versatile at the forward spot? You know, because a lot of a lot of bigs on defense, they like to sit back in the paint. So I feel like spacing the floor out is going to be easier to create for our guards. How big of a relief was it for you and the rest of the team that Dalton's injury wasn't something long term? I mean, we knew it wasn't nothing too crazy. This is this is a raw ankle. I mean, my raw ankle is really hurt, but at the end of the day, we know he's going to be fine at the end of the day. Joel kind of got further away from the loss and realized the injury wasn't going to be long term. Was there kind of a moment y'all were able to? think about how special his performance was or look at how special his performance was in North Carolina? Yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, 37 points is crazy, especially at UNC, you know, UNC has so much history, so it's just crazy to see him score 37 points, but we know everybody on this team is ready to step up at any time. Is that fun for you, going back to that neck of the woods? It definitely was. It, it's, a definitely, it's definitely a dream come true. And, you know, I was always watching UNC grow up, so just playing in the Dean Zone was just amazing. Anything else for Jonas? All right, thanks, everyone.